Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can do device emulation using Puppeteer. Let's say if you want to run the same particular test in iPad in a mobile device, how the landscape would look like, how the viewport would look like. For that, guys, we have inbuilt method in Puppeteer devices based on that we can easily do it right in the previous video we would have shown you the scenario hooks in that we have used get text from element where i've shown you that just using this before and after we have used reuse the code so that i don't have to use or each and every test so i just copy this code new file device demos emulators.js i would copy this code uh, let's say we can keep some width and height so normally desktop would be if you want to say 1920 2080 based on it and let's take uh, ipad landscape so it will be decided based on the device we keep and let's take a mobile device right for that guys um, let us continue with the same code so i'll be using the same itself so we need a puppeteer variable so property creating a puppeteer object and this one i'll remove the text and i'll write device emulation using puppeteer puppeteer fine now let's take browser and page as simple objects created here and we need a before and after so before we can write uh, we can create a browser which is headless and also the slow mo rqn and also the page we need and let's uh, let's take a url here itself instead of adding in it block i can take i can take here itself so i want to launch my html page which i have created i want to launch it off to the page creation so i want to launch this web page.html and now after everything is launched i want to close the browser right so before each and after each we don't need for this code now we need a three separate test to test the desktop the ipad and a mobile device so here i'll write test desktop view right for testing a desktop view, we have chosen the width as 1920 and the height as 1080. Let me write a uh, weight page, the page we have declared on the top. So we will have function called, we will have a function called set view pot. So we will put dot set view so what it does in the set view port so you can see here page dot set view port view port will be there and promise is word here so view port we can give the actual width and actual height so let me give width as uh, 1020 and height height as 1080 so and this one we can write in uh, flower packets. Take like this. Now fine. So um, now I want to wait for timeout. Let's take I'll write page page dot. We will see now the 
device emulators for iPad and device emulator for mobile. So let me just copy this, this it block. So now after this it block, we want to run another test case. Every it block is like every test case. So the next test case will be test iPad view. So iPad landscape view, right? Here the the code will be little different. Here we will take an object. Let's take an object for iPad. That will be puppeteer where dot. It will be a device. Devices and devices will be inside the device. Whatever the device you give, it will come to that particular resolution. So we'll take iPad landscape. Now I've added the I iPad landscape. Now here I have to do a wait. So page dot. Here we can use emulate. So page I have to just mimic the page what iPad resolution page. And now, now I'll also wait here, just like the above. Wait for timeout. I'll wait for timeout here for six thousand. A same test I'll copy. Same it block or test I can copy, right? I I'll just copy and I just paste it here, and I'll use it for mobile version. So testing mobile view. So mobile, I'll take the example of iPhone, iPhone 10. So iPhone 10, and uh, here we'll we'll take variable as mobile, and the same mobile will copy it here. And now we'll wait. For time of first six thousand millisecond. So now, let me execute it. npm test. I have added the device emulator in package. dot json. Now let us see npm test here. Now whenever the browser launches, it will see for three different devices. It will launch. So this is for desktop nineteen twenty thousand eighty. Now it will wait for a while and change it to iPad. Now this is for iPad resolution, and it will slowly change for mobile resolution. So that's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.